Hi, this is Michelle Taberge of michelletaberge.com and themindfulartist.com. And my mission is to help other people to be creative. So this is a little bit of motivation to create. Everyone needs a little bit of a kick in the pants now and then, or a little gentle loving motivation, and I'm here for that for you today. So chances are you have a little free time right now, <laughs> which is why you're on YouTube and you're watching art videos. And I'm guessing you're someone who likes to make art, so or wants to make art, or wishes they can make art. And I would like to say, now is the time. There's no better time than now. First of all, think of how good you'll feel when you do make the time to create. I believe it's something really essential to our human nature to be able to create, and it's a gift that we have, and it's something to be honored and treasured and appreciated. So it's totally understandable. Things get in the way. There's always those voices that will tell us, oh, it's easier just to sit here on the couch, or I need to do the cleaning or the laundry or whatever other things you feel you need to do today. But just think how good you'll feel if you do create something today, if you do put in a little time. And it doesn't have to be long, it can just be 10 or 15 minutes. But my guess is when you set aside those 10 minutes, that's all it takes to get into it. Once you get going, it's what you realize, this is what I really wanna do. And even if you're going through a little bit of a hard time with your art or creative, practice whatever you do, if it's painting or sculpture, photography, scrapbooking, whatever it is that you do that's creative, sometimes it's not as easy as other times. Sometimes it just comes easily and maybe you're avoiding right now because you hit a little bit of a wall. And I talk in, about that in my book, Seven Essential Practices for the Professional Artist, which by the way, isn't limited to professional artists. It's all things that are relevant to people who are professionals or consider themselves professionals, but it is a little bit of guidance and support for, um, for anyone who's creative. So you don't have to be a professional artist to read it. And you can get that two places. You can buy a copy, a hard copy off of Amazon, or you can download it for free off of my website. And there's that's where I talk about the wall. And the wall is a period that happens in the creative process where you really can't move forward. You feel blocked in some way. And it could be that you're I believe it's often when you're about to make some kind of creative breakthrough. So there's something happening in your brain and it registers as confusion or avoidance or frustration or whatever. And if you can just gently move through that and not back down, but to know there's a way through and to continue to persevere, um, you will usually find yourself on the other side of it with something totally new that you hadn't experienced before. So a new method of working or a new creative idea or something essential may have happened. So that's another thing I wanted to address. Um, so I talked about feeling like you don't have enough time, 10, 15 minutes a day is all it really takes to keep creative. So there's always a way to find a little time even if you really feel pressed. If this is important to you, please make the time for it. Um, what are some of the other avoidances? Um, I don't know, you tell me and I'll make another video on it because I really want to help you. I just feel that this world needs more creativity. Uh, you need it <laughs> in order to be your most joyful, beautiful self and in order to spread that to the world. Creativity is in high demand right now. We have problems on this planet right now that it looks like from our limited um, old paradigm ways of thinking that we cannot solve. You know, be it um, climate change, um, you know, wars, whatever. I really do believe that creative thinking is a big part of solving some of these things that are going on for us right now as a human race. And it may not feel like your little solo creative practice is part of that. But the thing is, um, I just read a book 
last week about the butterfly effect and I forgot there was like a scientific term for it and I should have written it down because I know some of you are going to be like, the butterfly effect, what's that? That's just a bunch of hearsay. Um, so there was um, a scientist early in the uh, 20th century who came up with this theory that um, the flapping of the wings of a butterfly could affect weather patterns throughout the world. And it was actually, people thought it, this person was crazy. And later it was proven to be an accurate theory. So it, the same thing happens for humans. So you're being creative today. You don't know what repercussions that's going to have for the world around you. And the people in your life, the people you'll inspire, the people they'll inspire. And that it's like a domino effect, a chain that you can't, foresee down the line. So it may seem like just something that makes you happy, but you just never know how that's going to influence your children, your grandchildren, your neighbors, your friends, your family. We just don't know. And I believe that it is essential. And on top of it, <laughs> um, when we're creating, I believe we're adding to the good in the world. It's easy, I know for me, like sometimes when I'm feeling kind of lazy and I mean, this is fine, but I like, you know, I like to go online and look for things to buy and um, I don't buy them. I just like to look at them. I only buy things if I need them, but sometimes I think it's just like another way to pass time and to consume and creating is sort of almost an antidote to that. I've heard a lot of minimalists on YouTube talk about that, about how when they got out of their consumer mentality that they realized this creativity um, was what was missing, that they had some emptiness in their lives and a lot of people found that that emptiness was filled by being creative. And I believe because when we're creative we're connecting to something greater than ourselves, we're collecting to, connecting to the creative unconscious, um, some people might call it God or Allah or whatever your term for that is, you're connecting to something greater than yourself, a consciousness that goes beyond your little individual personality self. So I hope I've given you enough <laughs> inspiration. I'm sure one of those things resonated with you, if not all. And I'd like you to turn off the computer or your phone right now and think of one thing that you could do. Just grab a pencil, um, some papers, maybe do a quick collage, whatever it is around you, a doodle, call someone on the phone and just doodle. That's a perfectly valid creative outlet, but let yourself have that today, even if it's just for 10 minutes.